My name is Brianna, or if you want to call me Brie, hey girl, nice to meet you. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am a 26 year old labor and delivery nurse based in Texas, and I've been a nurse for about three years now, actually pretty much exactly three years now. Um, and I just love to share my life with you guys. So on this channel, I do lifestyle videos, women's health videos, videos about fertility, natural birth control. Um, I also love tech, so I do a couple of tech videos here and there. Planning, digital planning, so all the things, okay? So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and hit the like button down below and make sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on what's going on in my life and on my channel. Thank you guys for all your support. I just really appreciate it. It means a lot to me when people subscribe to my channel. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support and the love. So if you guys didn't know, I used to do use natural cycles um, and take my temperature every morning with a thermometer because that was the only way you could do it before, which was also very simple, but you had to remember to wake up every single day and take your temperature, which was not as simple. Like I would do it most mornings, but there would still be a morning or two where I would forget to do it, right? Because we're human, we're, you know, we are imperfect. So um, I thought that this aura ring, especially since I'm on night shifts and I work shifts and I just have a lot of factors working against me in the way of taking my temperature every morning. So I wanted something that would be a little bit more accurate, a little bit more um, seamless, easy to use. And so when they came out with the Aura Ring collaboration, I hopped on it fast because this is very simple and easy to use. You literally just wear your ring till it's sleep at night and it takes an average temperature of your nighttime like nightly basal temperature um, it takes the average of that and it plots it on a graph and you literally don't have to do anything so here i'm going to show you guys so typically when i wake up in the morning after wearing my aura ring all night you don't have to wear it during the day necessarily unless you want to get you know your activity tracking and that type of thing in but i literally just wear this at night and also i usually put my ring on airplane mode so on airplane mode it doesn't give you the frequency waves, electric and magnetic field, so EMFs. So what I do is I put it on airplane mode every night whenever I put the ring on, which basically means that it's not emitting those waves, those electromagnetic fields, but it still takes your temperature and it still collects all the information that it needs to take to be able to give you your fertility status in the morning, which I love. So right now my ring is on airplane mode, so I'm gonna go hook it up to my charger and get it off of airplane mode. That's literally all you have to do is just hook it up to your charger in the morning and it takes it off of airplane mode. So I'm gonna go do that. And then when I come back, I'll show you guys what I do every single day to see my fertility status. So I just turned the airplane mode off of my phone and obviously, as always, if you guys have any questions and you want me to break something down further, you can ask it in the comments down below. Um, I don't want to go too in-depth in the video because it'll just be really, really long. But if you guys have questions, leave them down below and I will answer them because I promise I probably have the answer. But I'm just not going into super detail during the video. So I have an app over here that has all my natural health things on it as I am healthy. So I'm going to the Aura Ring app. And as you can see, it has already updated. Once you turn off your airplane mode, it will automatically update and tell you your sleep score, which is this at the top that I have, the readiness score, 83. So it says, do what feels good. Your overall readiness is good. Um, I have a sleep score down here that says I slept for eight hours and four minutes. So pretty perfect. And I got 77 percentage on my sleep, which is also pretty good. Um, especially whenever I'm sleeping in the mornings, I usually sleep pretty good. 
So the thing about it is you won't see your temperature on the Aura app itself. You have to go into the Natural Cycles app and do that. And sometimes it'll ask you to sync on the Natural Cy Cycles app and sometimes it'll automatically sync. So this time it automatically synced and I will actually show you guys. I just got a notification. You can see it down here. It says system synced. We can now tell you your fertility status for today. Red or green, open the app to find out. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. I'm literally just gonna click on the notification. It shows me that it's cycle day five. It shows me that 97 degrees was my temperature average out through the last night. And then if we go back, you can see that like last night, you could tell I was on my period and it doesn't have enough data. I didn't wear my ring at all this night. So you still obviously have some room for error because if you don't wear your ring or if you're like out of town, like I was this night, I just didn't think about putting my ring on. Um, so there was that. But most of the time I have a number because I wear it all the time. So look, this one, I got 97.56. Um, it was excluded because I slept differently. I had less than three hours of sleep that night. So it excluded that temperature and then I had 97. And then I had a couple nights where I was out of town. So, but basically if I'm here at home and I'm like sleeping, I'm gonna make sure I put my ring on. You, you can log the other things like your period, your, um, your mood, your cervical mucus, you can log all those other things. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really in love with it. Like it's really super, super simple to get your fertility status every day and you don't have to check your temperature. It averages it out for you. And so yeah, it's just, it's great really the only thing you have to have to do is wear your ring and i think it's freaking awesome also the ring has a really long battery life like a really good battery life i think it's like something wild like five or six days so like you literally don't have to charge it but once a week but typically what i do is i only wear it at night when i sleep so whenever during the day i'll like one day a week or two days a week, I'll put it on the charger that way it can charge during the day. And then I can wear it again that night. So super easy, super simple. I do not have a code for the Aura Ring. So I'm so sorry that I don't have a code for that, but I will leave in the description down below a code for the Natural Cycles app. If you guys don't want to spend the money for the Aura Ring because it's just another tracker, I understand. I had a bunch of comments on the first video stating that they should just connect it with the Apple Watch, which obviously would be a really good collaboration for the future. Um, but I don't think Apple Watch has that type of technology yet, except for like maybe the newest watch that they just came out with, um, which I think is the 8. Um, unless you had like the Apple Watch 8, I don't think it's able to take temperatures accurately enough to sync with this app. So I just don't think Apple Watch is there yet, but hopefully we'll be looking for that for the future. But if you guys are not looking into getting a new like Aura Ring, I got the cheapest one and it was like 275. So for me, it was a good investment, but for you guys, it may not be. So you can definitely just take your temperature. I loved using the Natural Cycles app, just taking my temperature every day too. Just got hard with me doing shift work and working nights, be able to figure out when I should be taking my temperature. Plus I was taking it at a different time every day because some days I would work nights and I would take it at nighttime after I slept during the day or if I slept during the night, like usual, whenever I was off, then I would take it the next morning but I didn't know if it was actually being accurate because I would take it at different times. So this gives me a lot more confidence knowing that it averages my temperature and that it takes into account the variations of like when you take it and when you sleep and you know, temperature variations and all of that. So it takes all of that into account. Now you can still, like I said, take it with the thermometer. It's very simple. You just literally put it in your mouth for like 10 seconds every morning and then you just have to type in the temperature that it gives you into the Natural Cycles app 
and then it will give you a fertility status based on that reading. I did the thermometer method, the, the basal body temperature method for probably a year and a half. Yeah, because I started before I got married last year. So a year, about a year and a half. And I just started this with the aura ring and I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend it. But either way, I would highly recommend natural cycles for somebody that is not too interested in hormonal birth control or you don't want to get like an IUD. This is another great option for women to have in their pockets as far as birth control if you do not want to have a baby right now. So I would highly recommend it. Um, if you guys have more questions, leave them down below. And I will see you in the next video.